Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to teach you how to sew a balaclava. I looked up how to say balaclava and anything English, American English, British English says balaclava. But my husband has lived in Ukraine for a couple of years when he was younger and he speaks Ukrainian and a little bit of Russian and he says it should be pronounced balaklava but you can pronounce it whatever way you want anything English I found they call it balaklava this is a balaklava a balaklava is essentially like a hood with the scarf and sometimes it covers your face I've seen lots of different versions um, balaclavas are very popular on TikTok right now um, but you see more of like the knitted versions that don't have a face covering and when I was designing this pattern I wanted to make it uh, like easier for people to sew so I didn't want to have really stretchy hard to sew sweater knit fabrics I also wanted it to be something fun that like kids could sew and that it would keep them warm. I do live in Northern Utah where it is pretty cold in the winter time and these are great for skiing, sledding. And surprisingly, these are really quick to sew because you just make a hood, do some hems, and then you add the face piece. So it's surprisingly not, it doesn't take very long and it's not as hard to make as I anticipated which makes it great for beginners or kids or teenagers. It's really fun. Um, it's great for teenagers if they wanna hop onto the TikTok trend. So I did make a free pattern with kid sizes from like kid size three to adults. They're kind of blended sizes because these are forgiving since they're knit. So there are five different sizes from young child to adult. You can get the free pattern in the link in the description down below. The way I designed it, you can just make the hood if you want and then leave the face piece off. They are different pieces, but it's what you're looking for. These would fit under like a ski or snowboard helmet. They would fit under the helm, like your hood of your coat. So then you kind of have more options of how you want it to work for you. I also, because I wanted it to be beginner friendly, I made it out. These ones are out of polar fleece. I made some other ones out of sweatshirt fleece. You can also use French terry. I wanted it to be kind of a stable knit fabric because those are easier to start with and easier to sew, easier to find, and you'll have a more successful project. I do think it's fun. I added like my stitching is a different color, so I thought that would be fun for kids. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to either need polar fleece or sweatshirt fleece. You can also use French terry. You need something with a little bit of stretch, um, more like horizontal stretch and no vertical stretch, and you want it to be like a warmer fabric. You don't want it to be too thin. Then you will need the free pattern, which you can get um, on my website. The link is in the description down below. So for the pattern pieces, you are going to need two of the hood pieces and two of the face pieces. And you want to make sure that your fabric stretches, this is stretching this way, that it goes with the stretch marked on the pattern. Then you are going to take your hood piece and place them right sides together, matching up all of your edges. You're going to pin this front edge and then this back and top curved edge. You are going to sew both of these seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance with either a zigzag stitch or a serger. And if you are using a zigzag stitch, make sure you back stitch when you start and when you stop. So now turn your hood right side out. Kind of push out those curves. 
and then this bottom edge and this <clears throat> face circle right here we're going to hem both of these edges so you're going to fold up one half inch and pin it in place so around each hem with a zigzag stitch So at this point, if you don't want to have the face covering, you can be done. The balaclava is done, you can wear it. Um, it covers your neck and your, like the top of your head, but then your face will be open. If you want to add the face covering, then you are going to make it with these next steps. So for the face piece, you can see this is the mark at the bottom <clears throat> that we are going to use that later. And these two corners, are what we are going to work with. So figure out which is the right side of your fleece, which is this side. So match up your face pieces right side together. You're focusing on this top curve between those top, these top points. And you're going to pin these layers together. You're going to sew this seam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and you can do a zigzag stitch or a um, serger. So turn the face piece right side out, push out those corners and then this edge, the two edges that are not attached, you need to baste or um, serge these edges so that they are combined into one. Once it's done, we're going to add it to the front of this. So this little mark is the center and is going to be at this seam. Um, and think about this edge lining up with the edge of this hem inside. So it does feel a little bit weird and tricky, but it does work out in the end. So I'm putting this here like this, lining up that point with this seam, and I'm going to pin it. And then I'm going to, I'm just kind of feeling or looking like I flip the hem and line it up with that edge and then fold it over and then I pin it. Now you are going to sew around this edge to get the face piece to stay in place. You can do a zigzag stitch over the zigzag stitch or a straight stitch. Just make sure you want to make sure you're catching all of the face piece in the back. So you don't want to be sewing out, you know, way on the edge. You want to be farther in, but not right up against this fold but kind of towards the middle of that hem area so that the full face part is connected. Once you have the face piece sewn in, the balaclava is finished and it has that nice eye opening, but then it covers your nose and your chin and your mouth. And that's how you make a balaclava with a free sewing pattern. I can't wait to see all of the balaclavas that you make. Please share them with me on social media. Check out these playlists with winter sewing projects and beginner sewing projects. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.